What's up, everybody? Most of you have already completed your fantasy championship week, so we are looking ahead. We are going to unveil the all-decade team in fantasy football and also my way-too-early top 25 for the 2020 season. But if you have a Week 17 championship, we have a few sleepers for you, too. This is the Radio.com Sports Fantasy Football Show. What's up, everybody? My name is Steven Andres. As always, if you have any fantasy football questions for this week or the offseason looking ahead to 2020, be sure to like this video and comment below. I'd be happy to answer any of those questions for you. And throughout the offseason, you can reach me on Twitter at Sports by Steven if you have any questions as well. We're going to start this week's show with some Week 17 sleepers in the event that you have a commissioner that stupidly schedules his fantasy championship for week 17. There's a lot of teams out there that have nothing to play for in week 17. A lot of starters will be benched, but we have some sleepers for you to consider if you are in need trying to chase that title in week 17. A wide receiver sleeper to consider is Justin Watson, the big, bulky, Ivy Leaguer out of Penn, stepped in for the injured Chris Godwin and delivered in Week 16 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. It's clear this offense is going to continue to do what it did with Evans and Godwin on the field, chuck the ball a ton with Jameis Winston at quarterback, and Watson is a decent option in Week 17 as well, taking on the Atlanta Falcons. A tight end sleeper to consider, Caden Smith from the New York Giants. With Daniel Jones under center, he has been a top 10 tight end in his last three games where he's also played with Daniel Jones. Evan Ingram is on IR with a Liz Frank foot injury. Rhett Ellison has been unable to come back from a concussion. Gets the take on the Eagles defense that has been pretty porous over the past month and a half. So Caden Smith is also playing more than 90% of snaps with a quarterback who understands he can check it down to him if in need. Two touchdowns last week in the overtime win against Washington. You can do a lot worse than Caden Smith in week 17. And on the flip side, my quarterback sleeper for week 17 is his teammate Daniel Jones. Came back from that injury last week and balled out against Washington and a 41-35 overtime win, five touchdowns for Daniel Jones. I think he's a viable option this week as they try to play spoiler against the Philadelphia Eagles in week 17. All right, let's move on to the offseason now. It's been an exciting year and really an exciting decade in fantasy football. We see the industry just blow up over the past 10 years. So with that in mind, here is the all-decade first team in fantasy football. In order to qualify for this team, the player had to either finish first in total points for the decade or first in points per game for the decade. And the first team all decade quarterback is Drew Brees of the New Orleans Saints. First in total points over the entire decade from 2010 to 2019. But he is also joined by Aaron Rodgers who was first team all decade via points per game over the past 10 years. At running back, we have two, LaShawn McCoy, standard and PPR total points, the leader at his position over the past 10 years. But Arian Foster cracks the first team all decade as well in standard points per game. Lastly, at running back, Christian McCaffrey, also first team all decade. He makes the squad via points per game in PPR formats. At wide receiver, we have two monsters of the position over the past 10 years. Antonio Brown, yes, he has been a diva over the past 12 months, but his production was unmatched over the past 10 years. In standard and PPR total points, he scored the most among fantasy wide receivers. And Calvin Johnson, in standard and PPR points per game, nobody was better than the Lions Megatron despite retiring early and leaving the NFL going out on a high note with production through the roof over the past 10 years. At tight end, no shocker here, it's Rob Gronkowski of the New England Patriots, who was fantastic. Number one among all tight ends in the past 10 years in standard total points and standard and PPR points per game, but he's joined on the first team by Jimmy Graham, who was number one in the past 10 years in PPR total points and rounding out our first team all decade squad, kicker Steven Goskowski. Number one in total points and points per game in the past decade, 
Nobody scored more points at the kicker position than the Patriots' stalwart who led that offense in points scored over the past 10 years. Before we wrap things up to take a long break for this offseason, let's unveil my way too early top 25 overall picks for the 2020 fantasy football season. And number one is also an all-decade participant. It's Christian McCaffrey of the Carolina Panthers. 26.4 points per game in half PPR. That was more than seven points per game more than the number two overall flex player of 2019, who just so happens to also be our number two pick in the 2020 rankings. Wide receiver Michael Thomas of the New Orleans Saints, at least 12.9 fantasy points. And every week this season, he was ultra consistent. Number three, Ezekiel Elliott. Number four, Dalvin Cook of the Vikings. Number five, Leonard Fournette of the Jaguars, who was second to only McCaffrey in touches per game. He saw a huge spike in passing game usage as well. Coaching staff uncertainty and injury history keeps him behind Dalvin Cook in this top 25. Number six, Alvin Kamara. He's actually seen more touches per game this season than last, but 18 touchdowns in 2018 to just less than 10 this year in 2019. That's the reason for his drop down in these rankings, but not too far, still very easily in the top 10. We should see monster positive touchdown regression for him this season. Number seven, Nick Chubb. He's gonna get bumped down these rankings if Kareem Hunt returns to Cleveland in 2020. Number eight, Saquon Barkley. Number nine, Derrick Henry of the Titans. The offense is stable now with Ryan Tannehill at quarterback and knock on wood through week 16. He's only missed two games in his entire career. Number 10, DeAndre Hopkins, steady as they come. Let's move on now to the next 10. Number 11, Tyree Kill, stay out of trouble this offseason, and he could possibly jump ahead of DeAndre Hopkins in these rankings. Number 12, Chris Godwin with an absolute breakout season. He was top three among receivers before he was injured. Number 13, Austin Eckler. This assumes that Melvin Gordon has left LA. Eckler was RB2 overall in the first four weeks during Gordon's holdout. He still finished as a top 10 running back splitting touches with Gordon. If he's alone in that backfield, he's gonna be a top 15 overall pick. Number 14, Mike Evans. Same thing as Godwin, top three receiver this year in fantasy points per game in 2019. Number 15, Devontae Adams. Number 16, Joe Mixon a top five running back overall in the second half of the season. He's going into year two under Zach Taylor. Could we see the same year two spike that we saw with Todd Gurley in Sean McVay's offense? Number 17, Chris Carson. Number 18, Josh Jacobs of the Raiders. Number 19, Aaron Jones of the Packers. He's behind Jacobs because Jones's spike games came when Jamal Williams was injured. He's still in the mix for 2020, that's why Jones is not further up these rankings. Number 20, Julio Jones. The last five in my top 25, DJ Moore, wide receiver of the Carolina Panthers. From week nine on, he was a top five wide receiver overall. His ranking closer to the season is gonna depend on the coaching staff and whether Cam Newton is healthy. Number 22, Amari Cooper. He's going to disappear some weeks, but he still plays in a division with terrible defenses. Number 23, Melvin Gordon moving into a free agent offseason, most likely. He will severely move down this list if he winds up on a bad offense or in a running back by committee situation. Number 24, Travis Kelsey, my only tight end in the top 25. Patrick Mahomes is his quarterback, and he plays a position that is extremely thin, enough said. And rounding out my top 25, the MVP of the NFL, the MVP of the 2019 fantasy season, Lamar Jackson, quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens. QB is just so deep. I don't even want to take a chance on the cheat code in the first two rounds of drafts in 2020. I understand what he does for fantasy offenses, but quarterback is just so historically deep that I want to wait on a quarterback and I'm unwilling to take Lamar Jackson in the first two rounds in 2020. If by some miracle he drops to the third, then I consider it, but I don't think he's going to. I think he might wind up in the first round of a lot of drafts in 2020. Thank you so much for joining us this entire season on the Radio.com Sports Fantasy Football Show. As I mentioned at the top, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter this offseason 
at Sports by Steven. You can also like this video and comment below. I'll get back to you answering your questions if you have any for Week 17 or moving forward for your Keeper and Dynasty Leagues. We will see you in February to see who the winners and losers are from the NFL Combine as we get ready for another great fantasy football season. Happy holidays to you and yours out there. Enjoy the holiday season, and congratulations on another great fantasy football campaign.